right, good morning folks. Welcome to this week's video. So today is the start of a sectional walk. We're going to be walking the Suffolk Coastal Path. Um, we're currently still in Norfolk just to access uh, the Norfolk Suffolk border. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. introduction of what we're up to so we're pretty much on the Norfolk Suffolk border here uh, you can see the fencing behind us here that separates where the old MOD base was there it was an old radar listening site um, so Norfolk that side Suffolk this side the actual start of the Suffolk coastal path starts in Lowestoft but obviously as you can see here there's a bit more to it here but due to the uh, erosion and the changing of the beaches and the cliffs um, it's been decided that the Suffolk coastal path will start at Lowestoft there um, which sort of cuts out part of the, uh, the English uh, coastal path. But as you can see, the coastal erosion here is absolutely dreadful, uh, hence the reason it starts at Lowestoft. So the cliff path takes you through Broadland Sands, which is one of the first places I worked after leaving school as a lifeguard. It's a little campsite or caravan park just on the cliff here, and it has lost tons and tons of cliff here. There's no access to the beach or anything along here. As you can see, that the, uh, the coastal defences have all been completely destroyed. Right, I'm not sure whether you can hear me due to the wind, but. Uh, as you can see all along here, you've got all of the coastal defences that were put down 40 years ago, I reckon. And all of those wooden slats, they've all been smashed up. They're all sitting about six to eight foot above the sea level now, so they're not actually doing any good at all. Hence the reason why the coastal erosion has increased over the last 20 odd years. But uh, people are trying their utmost hardest to try and preserve their property, their land, all along the Norfolk and Suffolk coast here. And it's just, uh, the sea's just claiming it all back. Right, so we're now walking into the little village of Corton. Um, I think we have to bypass the actual beach now and walk through the village. And then I think uh, we'll be joining uh, the coastal path down at Tramps Alley, just the other side of uh, Azura Sea's campsite. Right, we'll just come down Debenham Score. We just saw a little tiny footpath sign there that says access to the beach, and we found this metal set of steps that's coming down onto the beach. I don't know what it's like, but uh, let's have a look see. It looks. Oh, it is open. Oh, good. We've got access. So you can get back down onto the beach at Debenham Score, just opposite the, uh, the village sign of Corton. So behind us here, you can see remnants of the old sea wall. So this was breached, I think it was 1953, when we had the massive floods on here, which destroyed loads of property and loads of uh, things all along this coast and completely decimated the beach village in Lowestoft that we'll see a little bit further on. But yeah, a couple of uh, last little bits of the last sea wall left. of old bits of the Second World War left on the coast around here. You can see that pillbox just behind us there. Got the old tank traps. 
there's all sorts loads of ordnance gets washed up as well and uncovered as this, the beach keeps moving So here we are at the site of the old beach village at Lowestoft. So like I said previously, this was all a two up, two down sort of fishermen's cottages. It's where all the fishermen and their families used to live. 72 pubs were located on this area. And uh, in 1953, the floods came in and pretty much destroyed the whole of the beach village. And it was the floods also that sort of put the end to the fishing industry here in Lowestoft as well. As everything was condemned, everything was ridden off, the industry was dying. So it was all flattened and turned into uh, this industrial estate housing bird's eye just over there as it is today. So all that's left of the beach village really is just a few of the drying posts over here that the nets used to be put on. So we're walking back up the North Deans here back onto the seawall and uh, we are now going to be walking to Ness Point which is uh, Britain's most easterly point. Right, so that's the first section of the Suffolk Coastal Path done today. So we'll reach Nest Point in Lowestoft, which is Britain's most easterly point. So thank you for watching this week's video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button just below there. And as always, a couple of videos for you. I will start up a playlist of the Suffolk Coastal Path that you can follow as well. Then. So thanks for watching one more time, and we'll see you next week on the next one.